So you're planning a night out at the bathhouse. It's been a while, or maybe even this is your first time, and you're excited to have a little bit of fun. I know it's easy to get carried away. I mean, you're surrounded by naked men, there's porn playing on a loop, there's the darkened corridors, and anonymous rooms. You can literally be whoever you want to be. Just make sure whoever you are at the time is also someone who does the following things. Here are the top 10 etiquette tips for visiting your local sauna in 2023. A special shout out to the staff at Steamworks Toronto who contributed to this list. And helping me out today, in more ways than one, is my buddy Wyndham. And after shooting this video, we shot another one for our OnlyFans pages. You can find those links in the description below. All right, let's jump right in. The number one tip is be polite. Now, I know you might be nervous showing up at the bathhouse. Maybe you haven't been in a while. Maybe it's your first time. Maybe you're afraid to run into somebody. There's a lot going on in that head of yours, but just remember that the staff are there to help you. So don't forget that a simple please and thank you, a long way to making everyone's night more enjoyable. Number two, breathe, relax, enjoy. So you've probably been looking forward to this night for a long time and all you want to do is be inside enjoying yourself. I get it. Every second that ticks by is a second you could be trolling the slurp ramp. But just breathe. <laughs> Let the staff do their job. Check you in properly. There's no need for FOMO. There's always men showing up and always something going on. Number three. Don't bother asking how many people are inside. <laughs> There's just really no right answer to this question. Anyway, in your mind, you're imagining a bathhouse that's the perfect number of people that are wandering the halls and they're looking for somebody exactly like you. But asking at the front desk how many people are inside the bathhouse doesn't really make sense. Because honestly, it only takes one person in there, the right person, to have a great time. And the clerk really can't tell you if the right person is in there for you. And besides, guys are coming and going all the time. Your luck can change in a second. Number four, respect others. Seeing something you like at the sauna is inevitable. What isn't inevitable is how that person will respond to your advances. So while it's true that you miss 100% of the shots you don't take, it's also true that you need to know when to fold them. <laughs> If you approach somebody and they turn away, they refuse to answer you, or worse, they tell you to stop, then just respect their decision and leave them alone. Besides, you don't want to hook up with somebody who doesn't really want to be with you anyway. Do you? You do, don't you? <laughs> you shouldn't. Number five, help the environment. Isn't it nice to not have to worry about doing laundry for once? You're handed a nice, clean towel on demand. But every time you change towels, that's more cleaning to do and Greta Thunberg is gonna come for you. <laughs> so for the planet's sake, be responsible with your towel and only exchange it when totally necessary. And let me know in the comments, what is your number one bathhouse tip that you would like to share with us? Okay, number six. Keep your valuables safe, safe, safe. If you live in North America, then you probably have the option of renting a room at the bathhouse. And in the room, there's usually some sort of locker to stash your belongings. So use it, because <laughs> knowing you, that room is gonna be having a revolving door on it with fellas coming and going, and you don't wanna suddenly realize your new iPhone, whatever is now missing. Number seven, don't douche in the jacuzzi. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> Douching takes practice. There's a time and a place. The place is at home or at the bathhouse douching stations, but definitely not in the hot tub using the jets. <laughs> you think we're kidding? This is a real thing that happens. I know, I know. Number eight, put trash where it belongs. Sometimes we get so carried away that we do things without thinking, like littering. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, make sure to pick up after yourself when you are done. Condom wrappers, cock rings, lube, if you bring it into the space, take it out with you when you leave. Number nine, open door policy. So walking through the halls, you're gonna be passing a lot of rooms and some of those rooms are gonna have the door open. 
It's important to read the body language of the person that's inside. For example, if you see someone sitting on a bed watching porn, you can stop, you can linger, you can try to get their attention, maybe instigate some small talk. An open door is usually a sign that they're open to meeting people, but just respect their space. You don't just barge in. Well, that is unless they're face down and ass up. That's a more open invitation from a less discerning person. And number 10, 10, 10, 10, use the showers. Sometimes you feel like there's so much action going on that you don't want to miss a beat. So using the sink to rinse off your junk seems like a good idea, but it's not. <laughs> Take the extra minute and use the showers to rinse off your privates. It's more hygienic for everyone. And hey, if you want to support my channel on Patreon, you can get perks like advanced access to episodes, behind the scenes content, and more. And for a deeper dive, why not join my newsletter? It's free. Just go to Patrick Morano. A dot com. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah!